Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a 1v4, and I just realized the scoreboard is off the charts, uh, a 1v4 on a Yucatan. I believe for the first time ever, I'm not sure if I've done one of these before on the map, but I definitely don't have it titled 1v4 on Yucatan, and this is what this video is all about. We're playing against a nice group of guys. I think they have a few other of their friends watching as well, so they're having a really good time here. Uh, we've got, okay, first of all, Team 1, we got myself, 28-22 ELO. And then our opponent is Cyromat at 1100 Team Game ELO, 851v1. You got Hector at 1000 ELO, 1050. Wingman at 1100. And Gwei here at 1150, 1v1. So probably their strongest player. The map is going to be Yucatan. A very classic map. I'm really excited for that. I negotiated so we all get random Civ. And that looks like it was fine for them. At first they wanted to pick Civ. But I talked them out of it. You know, I said I needed a little bit more of a chance. 1v4 with pick Civ is quite difficult. Uh, I got Koreans, they got Mayans, Turks, Byzantine, and Japanese. My god, their civs are absolutely insane. And my civ is really not that great. So, uh, let's see where this game takes us. But Yucatan, definitely one of the... Um, definitely one of the more fun maps for me, to be honest. Uh, w one of the maps I started on uh, when I was first learning how to play the game for real. Uh, no, for some reason, like, I know we ended up on Arabia, right? But for some reason, I feel like nobody really started on Arabia. Uh, when they were playing, like, single player moving to online or just single player with AI. Um, I, I personally started, I think I started on, like, Gold Rush. I remember playing Gold Rush a lot. Arena. Uh, Fortress. I played Fortress a lot. And then uh, also Yucatan and Black Forest. So those are, like, the maps that I played, if anything. Then I moved on to some Nomad. Never really played Arabia until we started doing, um, like, online. Until I was introduced to the online game. So that's kind of, like, the, uh, the setup here. And we're gonna go ahead and pull in Boris. Yucatan, for those who don't know, is just a lot of hunt. Uh, I can even grab one of those guys. Alright, just gonna pull that guy back. I'm bad to take an extra hit, but you're not bad. You don't take extra hits. Okay, I took a few extra hits and he ran back. Okay, this is a disaster already. Oh my god, I shouldn't have tried it when I was throwing another boar. But I swear it lagged at the same time. It lagged at the exact same time that I went to the boar and it just uh, it ruined the whole thing. Not my skills, that was the lag, I promise. Uh, Ian's, and this sieve does not excite me in the slightest. I feel like, I honestly feel like I want to go FC Wagons. I think that's the only strat that does anything. Um... And when I'm talking about FC Wagons, I think it, I have to forward cast to someone too. So I'm going to go for some risky strat like that. I'm, I'm sure of it. Uh, so with that in mind, let's go take these sheep. But I'm going to go scout with my, with my scout. I'm going to go explore. Because I want to find my first target for the castle drop. Ideally, one of the lower level guys. There's two trains of thought, right? There's one, one line of thought says I should castle drop the highest elo. Because, you know, that takes him out of the game early. But there's another line of thinking that says I should take care of the lowest elo first because they are more likely to take extra damage from a castle drop. So it just comes down to what I value. It's like, do I want to really take someone out or do I want to slow down the strongest player? And I think I prefer to take someone out. So let's go hunt for one of the lower elo guys. Um, but it's kind of hard to tell because like obviously yellow is the strongest, but it's not, you know, not strongest by that much. And as far as the mill goes, I th think there's some sheep here. I think I can mill the deer with a fast castle. Normally I would lure them, but I don't know. Nice, those are my last sheep. I feel like in this case, I really need to just explore. It is a little laggy, which is unfortunate. Fortunate. That is very fortunate. Oh, what? He realized. It's crazy. Good reaction from him. Maybe he eats some hits here, though. Ah. Alright, no worries, no worries. It's fine. Oh, 
I'm build a deer. Maybe I'll town center the berries later on. That might be better. I haven't found a single player yet, but I do see some berries here, so I imagine he's around here somewhere. Japanese Turks mines Byzantine. Out of all those civs, Byzantine is the most annoying, actually. Uh, second would probably be Mayans, but specifically because Mayans do really well against Koreans. Like, specifically Eagles. They beat, like, everything Koreans make except Hand Cannoneer and Champion. Mm, but I think Byzantine is way more annoying in the sense of, like, you know, Camel for the Wagon and Skirm for, like, everything else, basically. Does not sound too fun. Okay, we have red here, the mine player. If I have a direct path towards him, I, I could go for the forward castle. He is walling and then there's a stone here, so forward castle right there can be decent. I could look for someone else though. Uh, it's such a long way away though, if you really think about it. Damn, he's hitting my scout. These guys are not bad at all. Okay, if I decide against castle dropping, ends up being too risky, then we'll give it up. Okay, now we go up. Okay, cool. 26 loom. I'm not going to wall, of course, because I don't want to slow myself down. There has to be some level of risk that we take, naturally. Mm. A good amount of wood. I know I keep re-tasking re these deer. There's a reason I do that. Uh, that guy's a fast. Teal. Teal's another good, good one to hit. These guys are all paying so much attention, it's ridiculous. He doesn't see me. Me losing HP on my scout was pretty bad though. I think I got away with that. I might need a barracks by the way. Like they might have just a couple uh, scouts coming towards me. So a barracks can be decent. I have my mill for my market. Yeah, everything's solid. Okay. Perfect setup, I have my barracks, so I'm set. I'm gonna go scout the corner of my map just to make sure it's walled, because if so, then I actually have a really nice map to boom. And I might decide to make the castle at home in that case. If I have a nice map, I could just castle at home and then wagon people as, uh, you know, as my attack. But forward casting someone is really good. Like, you just take someone out quick. I like the idea of that quite a bit. Start my my walls a little bit. Now that the initial build is done, walling doesn't really slow you down. And my one spear at home. Um, if I forward castle anyone, I think it's the Turks player. It's the clearest path straight to him, but it's just so far away. I don't know if it's worth walking my vills there. And I feel like it's better to have the defensive castle for. You know, obviously defense. I'll take that turkey. Okay. I guess castle H. That's a really fast build. Yeah, we're, we're thinking we're gonna have to castle at home probably. I don't see anything else working too well. Trap on that guy. Just free to kill those. Very nice. I 
could just auto scout with that guy. It looks like it's just gonna be castle at home. Oh, they went all the way here. Only way to fix this is to do it by doing a TC. I'll do the castle here. Somewhat risky if they come with the uh, archers, but hopefully they don't. <laughs> That's basically the, our only defense there. There, we don't need this. Excellent. Okay, we defended that first scout rush quite nicely. I think there's a couple of them are booming, especially like I don't like that yellow is booming. Really hit a nice uptime as well. That guy's a bit scary. I'm gonna have to do two TC for a while. Uh, I, I must make something happen with wagons. I must. Okay, that guy is not booming. He's adding in stables. Interesting. Now I'm now I'm happy I went for defensive castle honestly, because without it I could be in a lot of trouble. This feels like the best way to play. Mm, those guys, I guess we can go take that here and then go to berries. Also, I probably should not farm before I eat those berries. At least put a few of those on them. These wagons are quite pricey, which is the downside of them. Castle right here would have been perfect. Okay, let's start pressuring right away. I don't know how I got into this guy's base, but I'm just gonna click into the wagon and see what happens. Aha, uh -huh, okay. That guy's walling really high up. That's ambitious, actually. Very ambitious. Interesting forward stable. These guys liking the stable so far. Honestly, stable is pretty good against the wagon. They can go light cap from Turks. We can also see camel, which could be annoying. I'm missing fletching at the moment on these wagons. These wagons are quite weak. We'll pick it up now. Stonewall here. Okay. But I was scared of. You archers, those aren't gonna do too much. Actually, wagons are like supposed to be the counter to archers, by the way. Go hit the yellow. Two TC boom is perfect with the wagon defense. Oh, so close. Really? need ballistics quite clearly here which kind of sucks because I won't get a lot of economy but I think I need it nice this is good this is good yeah we, we need ballistics I'm like certain of that too much cav on the field okay, okay still feudal late which is really good so is mines they'd really get hurt by uh, I hit mines. They're all forwarding me. Thank God I made the castle at home. That random decision just saved the game. Like I didn't even realize. Second TC is absolutely perfect, by the way. 
Maybe those guys are toast, but that's okay. I'm gonna send Morton Yellow to be honest. He's okay. Well, I need a stable as well. My my wagons are basically crawling on all fours at the moment. That's how slow they are. Ballistics coming in. Botkin coming in. This gonna be a huge power spike. Byzantine player. That guy's not that scary with knights. He should be on camel. Maginot does nothing. Oh, kills his own units. Less than nothing. <laughs> He's coming again. I'm gonna try this again. I haven't lost a single unit. I jinxed myself. I just lost it. Right, now I need another town center. The question is, do I expand? I think the answer is yes. The husbandry. Who just hit castle? Cyro Matt. You guys need to go back home for a monastery. No herbal medicine as well. Maybe that's best herbal medicine. I better get it as Koreans. I probably don't. Moment of truth. I do. I have faith in the start. I should auto scout. What are you doing? Start moving, bro. Back and forth. Keep scouting. Arms are quite important. Aha! These guys love making buildings forward, by the way. Like, they're not respecting the, the natural laws. That's randomly open, by the way. <laughs> I have to close that one. Go ahead, green. Maybe green is making himself quite weak. Wow, I'm catching everything. I could go for a forward castle now. Randomly, I'm on like the best unit in the game. Like somehow wagons just insane here. Does it takes no damage to archers? It takes two per hit, so staying the strong. Again, more forward buildings. Thank God I went defensive castle. Imagine I went forward castle like a dumbass. What would happen to me? I'm still not entirely in the clear though. I just camp, yeah? Maybe I spread these out a little. But for the most part, just camping is okay here. Red got cleared up. I'm so strong score wise. Let's just go for a second cast and start clearing out some of these buildings. I just want to get one of those because thumbring affects wagons. Oh, by the way, who knew that? Like, let me know in the comments if you guys knew that thumbring affected wagons. I didn't know it until like very recently, like way too recent. Who got converted? Oh, here. Nice. I don't know exactly when I found out. I think it was like a year ago. And I've been playing for like 10 years. Taking those relics might be worthwhile, eh? Let's do it. Let's not get lazy. Imp? I gotta go fast and imp though. I don't, I don't have a lot of gold. I really just don't have a lot of gold. We are going to commit. I want to talk about a high look concept as well. Yeah, I'm just going to, for the people that watch my 1v4 videos, I'm just going to drop little little tips here, little gold mines for you. When you see a resource so low like this, 
like solo price at the market like 100 wood is now worth 34 gold you buy it for 62 right so when you see a resource tanked like that at the market you want to pull those off that resource you don't want to have a lot of wood because it's, it's a bad resource food is a really good resource so even though i don't plan to spend that much uh food on my stuff i still want to take food because it sells for a lot and therefore it's an it's a valuable resource in this current period of time so now I don't want to, I don't at all costs want to float wood. I only take wood for what I need, but floating food is not bad because it's worth quite a bit. Okay. It's a really important concept there. Definitely worth learning. So here I need some wood. No problem. I just buy it. It's actually very cheap. Do the same thing again. Buy, very cheap. And if I need gold, I can just sell a bunch of food off. There you go. Take that. Red's going into skirms. Red is so weak score-wise. But, like, I, I, he's still, like, really strong civ-wise if he gets the eagle. So I think I need... The forward castle him. I'm not sure what the map looks like, so let's just move forward, see what happens. Maybe getting some vision could actually be worth it. Whatever, screw those guys. Ah, uh, those guys might be. Ah, uh, shit. He's not ready to move out. My main army should come back here. Summering. I'm gonna go help this. Maybe I go onager, honestly. They don't have a lot of strong passives. So I could just go onager. That might be best. Problem is gold. What was the actual only problem here? Looking for relics. It doesn't have to be a TC here, but although TC is best. Actually, it should be a castle here, if anything. Go ahead, yellow with those. I get the extra pop, eh? Keep that in mind. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, actually, uh, one major issue is stone as well.
You guys have to hit yellow for sure. Fighting on three fronts. Might go Korean Hussar. Oh! -ho. I think the wagon should win this actually. Shit, that guy is actually really strong. There's not a lot of gold on this map. Yeah, I won that fight. Good. Sorry. Third guy has to die. Third guy has to die very fast. That guy has the strongest potential with no gold. I know it sounds weird, like Turks, oh, they usually have no trash game, but they actually do. They have an insane trash game with the Hussar, which I don't want to play Halb. They don't have any captives, so. I really don't want to play Hussar. Oh, I don't, I don't want to play Halb, sorry. They don't have any captives for that reason. Halb is not that good. I know yellow's on Japanese cav, but it's Japanese cav. I'm not scared of that in the slightest. I guess I am scared of Japanese cab. Uh, I guess cab is just so good against wagon anyway. Let's raid the Japanese player. I mean, I guess if I have to go halb, I'll go halb. Like, it's not that bad to do halb here. Just that gold is gold is an issue. Nice, that area is super raidable. We have to raid yellow a lot, like a strong. Green is also slowly getting back in the game, I'm sure. Auto farm revolutionized the game. Hate it or love it, we use it. I can take that guy's gold. Oh, the Hussars did nothing here, they just died. I could prepare a trap here. My tribe ran into the castle. I hate when that happens. You got in after all? Okay. 
That's annoying. It's actually very annoying. F-350 pop. Let's make use of it. Oh, Paladin from Byzantine. Thank God I'm on freaking help. Honor just counter paladin, baby. Oh, I don't have any upgrades. Oh, he stopped. Are you serious? Good splits. Yeah. I gotta take the relics. A little bit of income is needed here. Thank god I went halb as well. That's also very needed. Uh, I feel like I need a castle that. He's gonna be annoying with the skirms there at some point, I'm sure of it. What an intense game. What an intense game. Let's continue pressuring. I'm still not 350 pop, so in theory, I haven't even hit my, like, my strongest yet. <sighs> Getting a little tired? I did a stream today as well, that's why. Don't worry, I have more stamina than just a... 50 minute game. Actually, this is going very well for us at the moment. Oh, how is nobody helping this guy, by the way? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I just realized, like, ain't nobody helping this guy. Okay, I should not have said anything. Apparently. Should I try to save one trap at least? Relics there is interesting. What? My click is relics. Push in with Hisar. I think we want to do more traps on this side. Push run into Green's base. No. No. Good, good, good. Green's base is getting kind of nuked. So much army here. Just send it to yellow. Yellow can't deal with that. One relic for more for me. Good, I take it. Ah. That's bad. I have nothing versus eagles. Uh, and this is exactly why I had to kill this guy. Exactly, exactly why. Well, versus eagles, I have onagers only. And I have attack rounds, and that's it. Nothing else works. Luckily, I got some really good rates on that guy. 
I have hand cannon versus eagles. I might have to go for it. Maybe just hussars and wagons. Just brute force him with hussar and a lot of a lot of reinforcement, I guess. I want more into this guy's base. I don't want him to afford any more eagles. Luckily, he doesn't have full attack. Luckily. Shit, they dropped a lot of pop. I'm only 140 bills. It's like actually not that many. It's like how much you get in a normal game. Halbs there. And his halbs are actually better than mine. Uh, that mine play is actually a really big problem. That guy's rated a lot. I'm just gonna check the bottom of this map. If I if I had a, a proper hussar sieve, this would be different. But we're stuck with Koreans. I still I'm okay with that though. I'm okay. I'm okay with doing random versus random. I think that's better. I'd rather them be a bit uncomfortable with their sieves. And honestly, Koreans got us here. Like without the wagons, who knows if I survive? So we gotta respect the roots. Uh need to go for skirmisher probably next. Deal with halbs. This raiding group, I don't really care too much about. Shit, red got plus four. After deep raid red, deep raid red. Let's go really into his economy here. A lot of skirms here. I just saved the wagons. No need to lose the wagons there. That's a lot of Hissar here. I think I can't queue back though. Problem is if I get into a trash game against these guys, I probably lose. Oh, I didn't even run back the wagons. Um That has some more impact there. that relic back I'm gonna go for full trash comp and hope that works ain't the raid more I have murder hole so I can just camp there oh ain't his start down here maybe Good raids here, nice. The star coming here. Honestly, I should just I should just wall this. It's not like I should quick wall it. I should honestly just wall it. I 
can't fight this guy. I knew this. Was, I knew this guy would be a problem. By the way, I, I absolutely called it. But I didn't realize is how little of a problem green would be in Byzantine. It turns out he's really just not that much of a threat. Castle is annoying. Can I take it out with just pure Hisar? Also, is there a, a raiding path through here? Let's see, let's find out. I'm mixing a few hand cannon here. here. Good baits. So epic. Not really able to do much there. He's got more pop than me, that's the issue here. So, you're gonna pop something out of there, I'm sure. I have a Treb. That's a Turk player. Turk is an issue, yeah. I mean, there, there's a lot of issues here. I think the biggest issue is mine, so. Elite Plume. Let's go here with the Strebs, snipe that, and hope he just doesn't realize, honestly. <laughs> That's what we're, we've been reduced to. Shit, Japanese infantry. We don't really have a count to that. Yeah, good job on them, just sniping the Treb. That's the right way to do it. There's no weakness anymore. I raid them and then they just sling each other back or they just take time to get back. So now there's no weakness. That's a good play. We just snipe that castle. Bring those traps back. Hell gold is an issue though. Some bombards on this side, interesting. That was a good snipe. I'm still happy about it. Let's push on this side.
Forward production is key. Alright, let's give that up. Ah, uh, conquest game. I was gonna go for a wonder. Shit. I was gonna go for a wonder. I don't see a win condition here. And I think I'm just gonna get slowly overwhelmed. Two relics only. The fact that we've held this long is honestly crazy. I'm really happy with it. Especially with the Civ circumstances. Again, if I had a Civ, like, uh, say Spanish? Something with like a sick late game? I don't know, what else has a sick late game? Maybe Poles? I think this game would be not a lot easier, but it would be winnable. At the very least. Some hussar here. Oh, I took that gold, yeah. Nice. Really nice red. I don't know how much raiding will affect them. Low, low level players or lower level players tend to float a lot of reds though. I know you guys. I know you guys love doing that. I just don't. Oh, they have trade. That's how this guy got so much gold. Uh oh. I just realized they have trade. Because a lot of them were playing trash units, but Red has been playing with a lot of gold units. Either they have trade or his gold just lasted longer since his mines. One or the other, I guess. Send these guys here. Maybe I get arson. Got to break that.
decent amount of stone. I did it. I can feel the pop now. It's 800 versus 350, right? I'm starting to feel it. Oh, he's in with the raids. The raids definitely hurt me a lot. I don't know if this guy has murder holes, but it could be a good way to kill that castle. Bad, this position is now lost. It's an Earth. I think we, I think we lose, but it feels like a win still. I think I held them to an insane potential with Koreans. Uh, but now, although we have good pop and everything, we have no more win conditions. And we can safely, with good conscience, call the game. Knowing I will kill this castle. We'll wait till it happens. It's almost done. We'll kill that castle. I think this is a win, honestly. Well, as win uh, uh, as a loss can get. Uh, I'm very happy with how we played it. Uh, very happy with how the game turned out. It was a lot of fun. And, um... I just, I ran out of pop slash, like, good options. Hisara was, like, obviously very lackluster. It's one of the worst options in the game, so... Very happy with how it went down. Castle's down, we can call it. GG, well played. They played a good game, too. They had a lot of forward buildings. Did they have trade set up? I'm curious about that. They had very little trade, but still trade. Yeah, they still had trade. Not the best, but still had it. Yeah, and there's no way I'm winning this. They've got way too much of the map. Did wipe out uh, Teal, though. That was pretty solid. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Grueling, grueling game. I'm actually really tired. Take a look at the KD here. I killed 2,000 units. This might be the thumbnail, honestly. 2,000 units. Look at the economy. It's just crazy. 200 vil high. Good relic gold as well. Man, that's a good out of me. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, like, like the video. Mandatory. I'm even taking off my headset. That's how tired I am. Um, like the video. Mandatory. Like the video. Comment as well. And uh, if you guys want more content from me, check out my live stream on Twitch. And check out my Patreon if you guys want to get better. If you guys want to hold one before like me, check out my Patreon. I got guides and exclusive videos there. Links to both in the description below. That's it for me though. Take care and peace.